Hello YouTube, welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at something nice and new. This is a Trivisa. I think that's how you say it, Trivisa. Um, the model number of this is the Equela 01. Um, fantastic knife. Um, the brand, it speaks a lot about their workmanship, etc. Just looking at the packaging of this as an example. I mean, everything is just very beautifully designed the box is beautiful everything is nice i mean this is the first time i'm looking at one of these knives so very big surprise for me again you open it up sleeve comes off quite nicely you have a box again everything just beautifully made um it's beautiful to see work like this going into a a knife or even just the box of the knife we have a small cloth over here got some literature product certificate etc it's quite nice uh, to see that sort of detail you have a knife bag uh, for storage of your knife again this usually only comes with the more premium knives and then a really nice sort of packaged uh, outline over here for, for storage and for holding the knife fast. That's that's really well designed guys um, You don't see this sort of stuff very often, which is unusual The knife comes in a little ziplock bag obviously to keep it clean Let's Slide it out And then let's have a look at this My first impressions is this is absolutely gorgeous Everything just fits. This wood looks absolutely beautiful. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Nice, big backspace over here to protect. No lanyard hole, which is a little bit unusual. Um, I like lanyard holes, but if you're not a lanyard guy, this will do just as well. Single screw pocket clip. The pocket clip screw also doubles as a spacer screw, which is quite nice. It does have a flipper here on the back. Got some nice jimping over there. The blade inside there, everything just looks to be made very well. So, first impressions. A beautiful collection knife. This dark wood finish is absolutely stunning. And wow, how smooth is that? So, really nice sort of satin finish D2 steel blade. Everything about this knife is just actually gorgeous. As I said, this is the first time I'm looking at Travisa. Absolutely beautiful. As for the knife edge, she is razor sharp can see that um, there's the Travisa logo the lockup looks to be pretty decent it will wear in a little bit more and clip in a bit further which is good uh, stainless steel liners liner lock mechanism but guys just talk about this wood I mean it's very rare that you see a pocket folder with such a nice sort of wooden finish and D2 is a decent quality steel. I mean, this blade isn't thin. It's quite a thick blade to say the least. Very comfortable in hand, even with the pocket clip here, no real hot spots. You can get quite a bit of leverage up on this knife. That is stunning. Absolutely lovely knife. Just onto a paper sharpness test. See, this paper is a little bit wet, but this knife is razor sharp, which is lovely to see actually. It's crazy sharp, incredibly, incredibly, incredibly sharp knife. 
so yeah this this is a beautiful blade um, like I say it's quite a heavyish knife which is nice well not too heavy but heavy steel blade absolutely beautiful definitely something that I would love to add to my collection Andre Ferry these are amazing blades absolutely gorgeous as you can see that wooden scale dark wood finish logo D2 steel very very nice beautiful knife so just a little bit more detail about this knife um, this is a convex edge uh, so it's a convex edge grind on the blade uh, which makes this incredibly sharp um, it's made from D2 steel uh, the blade finish is a hand satin finish um, the material is what they call ironwood, I believe, um, on here. It could be something else, but um, from what I read up, this is an ironwood that is used on this uh, for these handles, for the scales. Um, it is a liner lock. Uh, they record a hardness of around 58 to 60 HRC on the Rockwell scale, which is pretty good. This does ride on ball bearings, so that makes it an incredibly good knife. All the spec will be in the um, comments on the video below if you if you read through you'll be able to find all of this but out of interest um, the overall length of this is 220 millimeters from end to end um, the blade length is 95 millimeters which is a pretty decent sized blade at three point almost 3.75 inches long um, closed length 125 millimeters uh, super smooth that is a eh? really really cool knife um yeah so the blade width on this uh, which is sort of from this point to that point um is around 27 millimeters this is a formal thick blade as i mentioned it's quite a hefty blade quite thick and solid and the weight of this is around 171.6 grams um, which makes this a really really cool knife and still palatable from the weight perspective so all in all, fantastic finish, beautiful blade. Uh, everything about this knife just sings actual quality. In my opinion, I think this is probably worth quite a bit more than what they sell for, um, purely based on the materials used, the quality of workmanship, and the overall feeling of this knife. I mean, it feels really epic in hand. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you're looking for one of these knives I will post in the section below where you can purchase these from Travis ASA um, and then yeah it, it's I would highly recommend it if it's something that you like if you're a pocket knife collector or just somebody looking for a really good practical working blade this will not let you down so to conclude this video this is my very first Travis knife. This is imported by Travis ASA, Andre Ferry. And um, all I can say is what a beautiful piece of kit this actually is. Um, I don't see any issues with this knife. It could have had some jimping here on the back of the blade, but is it required? No. Um, I don't foresee any real issues. The only thing that liner lock, but that will wear in. You can see it's already seating a bit better. And it does lock up I mean it's not going to close on you there's no wiggling or blade wiggle on this blade it's solidly made everything's just tensioned perfectly of course with D2 steel you get a beautiful sized blade I will post on the bottom of this video um, some more details about this knife with the length blade width etc just for your guys information um, yeah, fantastic. Very first Triversa and I look forward to seeing more of these blades. In fact, I look forward to owning a couple of these blades. Absolutely beautiful. Thanks for watching everyone and until next time, take care.